welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Imana, and today I am going to be talking about my dream handbag collection that I hope to have at least by the middle of next year. And I know that may seem like a long time from now, but you'll understand why once I tell you the type of bags that I want, how much they cost, what I'm gonna have to do to save up for those bags and all of that. So if you are interested in hearing about what bags that I plan to purchase within the next, you know, eight months or so, then stay tuned. So, like I said, for those of you who are new here, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I hope that after watching this video, you will go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. But if you are anyone who is like me, who needs about two or three videos, then I'll have a video here for you, here for you, and here for you on my channel. I am mostly focusing on um, luxury replica or dupe bags. I'm starting to kind of shift the bags that I'm going to be purchasing just because of right now we are in you know, still in this pandemic, shipping times right now are ridiculously crazy. If you have not, I will have a video here that I talk about my frustrations that I'm having with shipping right now. So I'm thinking of wanting to purchase bags that at least should be in the United States so that I'm not ordering from other countries or things like that so that I can get my bags in a more reasonable time. Um, I'm not gonna spend too much time on my annoyance with you know the postal service and all that if you're interested in that then please go check out that other video here is where we're getting to the meat and potatoes of this video the bags that i want to purchase so i have it down i have like this super cute little like handbag wish list um in my digital planner so all of the handbags that i'm going to talk about i'm going to have a picture right here so that you too can see the bag that i'm talking about but this bag right here is from um tori birch and it is the Kiara Chevron mini bucket bag. This is what it looks like. Again, I'm gonna have a bigger picture for you to see, but I absolutely love this bag. This bag is retailing at about $428. And for me, this reminds me of like, kind of like the bucket bags that Chanel has, but I do think that this bag is a little bit bigger than the Chanel bags. And for the most part, I think it has like the same leather. So I don't mind paying $428 for this bag, but I will say I am waiting on Tory Burch to have a sell, like a site-wide sell, not the bags that are on sale and it has like an additional 20% off. No, I need a site-wide sell. Um, because that is definitely one of the bags that I want to get and have in my collection. I just think that it's so freaking pretty. Um, and I think that it would just go with a lot of stuff. I think that like by the time I really want to carry it next year, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to travel, go to brunch, go out to eat and stuff like that. And that would definitely be a bag that I carry when I'm going out. The second bag that I want is the Fleming Small Convertible Shoulder Bag. And this is another one that is by um, Tori Birch. And actually I have a bag that looks just like this one. So I'm gonna show you that one too. So this is the bag, um, but the other one that I want is in the color black. And the reason why I want it in black is because this again reminds me of the famous Chanel bag that everybody carries around. Now I will say, I do love this bag and I love this bag so much that yes, I would get this exact same bag in a different color. Honestly, if they had this in pink, like the color of my pillow, I would get it in that color too. I've checked, they don't even have it anymore. But this bag is a really, really beautiful bag. Um, absolutely love it. And like I said, I bought this bag last year. It was like kind of like a Christmas gift to myself from myself type of thing. But this is like a perfect fall bag. I can't wait to carry this one, but this is really, really beautiful. I love it so much. Like I said, I do want it in black. Um, and then the black one retails for $458. The other bag that I want, and this is another bag that reminds me of Chanel. This is a Fleming soft convertible shoulder bag. And so this one is in pink. It's a little bit different than the bag that I have and the other black one that I showed you, but I absolutely love this bag. And I love that it's kind of like this soft pink color. Um, that bag retails at $528. So as you can see, we're already at like what? Four, eight, a little over 12, $1,300 right now. And that's only three bags. So as you can see, this is why I said that this is something that I probably will not have all of these bags until kind of like the middle of next year in a way. Um, another bag that I really, really want to have is this Teddy Blake. Um, Eliza uh, Villatillo 
rose in rose nine inch so this is the bag that i really really want to have and i think this bag is super duper cute this one is kind of like another bucket bag almost kind of like the tory birch one that i showed you guys earlier but i just really 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 love that bag um and then another bag that i want it's the um teddy blake kate bag in 12 inch and this is kind of what it looks like and when i saw this bag even though i'm not going into the office or anything like that when i saw this bag i was like oh my gosh that's such like a boss girl vibes now i do wish that they had this bag in pink in 12 inches but they don't um but i'll take the black one and here's why because one of the Teddy Blake bags that I do have is pink and so it has like a little keychain on it and I can easily just swap that one out and put it on the black bag. I can also get like a little bag scarf to go over one of the handles that are pink so then it'll give me like that little bit of satisfaction that I want, need or whatever to add accent colors to that bag. So yeah, and that bag retails for about $3.59. So here's another thing that I've noticed. Teddy Blake has a lot of sales and when I bought my first bag, I thought that I needed to buy it like that weekend because the sale was gonna go out, you guys. Now I will say the bag did go up just a little bit. I paid $3.99 for the bag and I think the bag now is like $4.20 or something like that. So I did save a little bit of money, but for the most part, it didn't go all the way back up to its original price, which I don't even know how much the original price was. It might've been like $700, but it didn't go up that high. It's only went up like about 20 bucks. So for the two bags that I do want from Teddy Blake, I'm pretty sure that they're always going to have some type of sale going on. So I don't think that I would ever have to pay like the full price or whatever. So right now that bag, the cake bag is $359, which is not a terrible price. So now we're kind of wrapping up and this next name brand bag, it's called Pauline, I believe. But this is the bag that I want for, and I think this bag is so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh, it is like that soft pink. And this one is like a bigger bag. It looks like it's about like a, what is it? Like a 32 by 16. And I know that may sound big, but as she's holding it, like that looks like a pretty, a pretty big bag. Like I definitely be able to fit my laptop in there. I definitely be able to fit my iPad in there. I definitely be able to put a book in there. Um, I haven't really seen too, too many what's in my bag videos for this exact bag that I want, but um, I definitely believe that I would probably be able to fit a lot of stuff in that bag. And I really, really want it. One, because like I said, it's a really good size. And two, because they have it in like this soft pink and I really, really love like a soft pink bag. And then another bag that I want from Pollen. Oh, and by the way, that bag was $420. Um, this other bag that I want from Pollen is this Numero Nano bag. And I just absolutely am in love with the color. Oh my goodness. Like I definitely don't have a bag that color in my collection and I think it's really, really pretty. That bag is a lot smaller than the bags that I'm used to carrying, but again, this would be like a nice bag that I could carry out to the grocery store or as, as I'm just like running quick little errands and I just need like my wallet, my hand sanitizer, you know, a mask, stuff like that. It'd be really small. So I really, really like that one and that bag is $260. So as you can see, it, a lot of these bags that I want are gonna cost a lot of money and I'll have the total of what all those bags equate to right here. Um, and then I, I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do it, but my goal is to be able to have all of these bags by next year, maybe around like May-ish. Um, but I, I definitely can honestly say that I'm gonna get at least one or two of these bags for Christmas. Um, so I'm already gonna go on ahead and start saving up for that. I don't exactly know which one. Like I said, I'm really, really hoping that um, Tory Burch has a site-wide sale either for um, Thanksgiving or, you know, kind of just like a Christmas, a holiday sale or something like that. I really, really, really hope that she does a site-wide sale for those bags. I've never ordered from Pollen, so I don't know if they do site-wide sales or if their prices are, you know, kind of like more luxury prices where the price sticks throughout the entire year. I don't know. And then, like I said, with Teddy Blake, they're always having sales. So I don't really think that I would ever have to pay like the full price. But comment down below. If you could have one bag 
price didn't matter, what bag would you get? I'm gonna go and look up the bags that you guys want because like I said, like I love, love, love looking at handbags. Some of my favorite handbag brands. First brand that I fell in love with was with Kate Spade. Um, I started buying Kate Spade bags right when I went to college. Um, I bought my very first Kate Spade bag the summer that I graduated from high school and I was so excited and I actually really, really love that bag. I'm actually gonna show it to you. So this was my very first Kate Spade bag and I absolutely love this bag. It's black, you know, it may look basic to some people, but this is actually a really, really, really good quality bag. Um, leather, it's very, very durable. And like I said, I bought this in 2015 and it still looks really, really good. Um, this bag is a lot bigger than what it looks, but I absolutely love that bag. So that is probably like one of my top favorite um, handbag brands is Kate Spade. Another one is Tory Burch. I bought my very first Tory Burch bag last year. I think I'm around Christmas season. I really, really do love Tory Burch. Um, I would honestly say that Tory Burch kind of reminds me of Chanel, but on a more affordable, price scale, if that makes sense. Because I will look at Chanel and I'll see some bags that I absolutely love from Chanel, but I'm like, I am not paying that much money. But then I'll go on the Tory Burch website and I can find a bag that's similar or has similar features. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I can afford that one. So I'll get that bag. So Tory Burch is another one. I do like Louis Vuitton. Um, yeah, so that that's another one, but not always super affordable. It's not something that I can just, you know, purchase right then and there and say, oh, okay, like I'm gonna get this and go. Um, another brand that I absolutely love is Teddy Blake. I have one of their bags that I bought, I wanna say like a month or two ago. Maybe I bought it in July or so. Well, I don't really think I have another one, honestly. So yeah, it's just Kate Spade, Teddy Blake, Tory Burch, and um, Louis Vuitton right now. So I don't have a whole bunch of bags from different name brands. It's kind of like once I find a brand that I really like, I kind of stick with that brand. Are you guys like that? Comment down below what your favorite handbag brand is because I'm also just kind of looking at what other brands are out there, what other bags that they have. So I'm gonna go and check out their website to see if there's anything that I kind of like on there as well. Talk about is my favorite bag that I'm carrying right now. And I would have to say, the bag that I've been gravitating towards the most would probably be my Louis Vuitton Neverfold Replica MM bag. Um, and I'll have a video right here for you to go and check that out. But I really, really do love that bag. It's not too big, it's not too small. Um, for the most part, it's a pretty good size. I don't really carry that, like if I'm going to the grocery store or anything like that, just because for that, it's a little bit big. But if I'm just kind of going out and I want a tote, I will carry that one. I would have to say my favorite bag after that would be my Louis Vuitton um, Pochette Matisse replica bag. And I'll have a video right here for you to go and check that bag out. But I absolutely love that bag. Um, it pretty much goes with a lot of outfits. It's crossbody. I can dress it up or dress it down. So I really, really do like that bag. And then I would say I do like my Teddy Blake bag, but that is more of a bag that I would carry if I'm going like to brunch or, you know, something that I'm actually gonna kind of get dressed up for. I wouldn't really classify that as like a super duper casual handbag, if that makes sense. But those are my top three favorite bags that I'm carrying right now. So that just about wraps it up for this video, guys. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you for sticking around for this video. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.